Hello friends, welcome back to All Alone Law. And today's topic of discussion that's a med medical video lecture biochemistry. Guys, biochemistry is really very important subject for USMD step 1 examination. Okay, so let's turn the discussion and today's topic of discussion is somewhat related to alcoholism and hypoglycemia and this is really very important. In USMLE examination, in USMLE step 1 examination, they will give you a beautiful case history that a 30 year old, 30 year old man rushes to ER, okay. He rushes to the ER with lightheaded, okay, or sometimes as unconscious, and complaints of muscle cramping, and pain, okay. And in clinical description, they say that he had went for this what you call marathon race marathon race okay so soon after the marathon race he was so thirsty and dehydrated that he drank what you call one five packs of ice cold beer okay so now this is the catching point, okay? Look at him. He went for a marathon race, okay? He was dehydrated, thirsty. So he came and drank five packs of beer, okay? Five packs of beer. Now, up soon after that, he felt very weak, lightheaded, and almost unconscious, okay? Now let's talk about this. Really very important. Let's see what happens if a patient is alcoholic or hypoglycemia and alcoholic means it's a kind of relationship between alcoholism and hypoglycemia. Okay. Okay, remember this alcoholic patients are really very susceptible for hypoglycemia. So really very important. So let me draw over here the pathway of metabolism of alcoholism, alcohol, alcohol is converted to acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde and acetaldehyde is in turn converted to acetate. Okay guys, so now remember the alcohol, during the conversion of alcohol to acetaldehyde, there is an enzyme known as alcohol dehydrogenase. Okay, and during this process, the NAD, NAD is converted to NADH very important try to concentrate over here and again from the acetaldehyde to acetate conversion there's an enzyme known as acetaldehyde dehydrogenase acetaldehyde acetaldehyde dehydrogenase dehydrogenase and during this process also again again what you call the NAD is converted to NADH okay now look at the beauty now I'm going to talk very important point here catching point remember okay now when there is a, when when he went to marathon race Okay, 
what happened he went into the what do you call in exercising muscle you know lactic acid builds up in the muscles that is due to the anaerobic glycolysis right good and this glycolysis causes muscle cramping and the pain right now you remember the cori cycle what's that this lactate the lactate this spills into the blood and is converted to glucose in the liver for example let me draw over here liver okay this is a liver uh, okay the lactate from the muscles okay spills into this okay goes into this and gets converted to glucose that is known as a cori cycle right so lactate from the muscles enters the liver this is liver okay this is the liver gets converted to glucose got it excellent okay now if at all this patient if, if he wants to synthesize the glucose the lactate should enter into the liver and gets converted to glucose right for this process okay for this process we require one of the most important that is NAD NAD we require NAD to convert lactate into the glucose during the gluconeogenesis okay and what is that enzyme that requires NAD is nothing but lactate dehydrogenase that oxidizes lactate to pyruvate very important now the alcoholic patient now the, he has taken the alcohol the NAD is NAD is utilized we don't have the NAD right when we don't have the NAD the conversion of the lactate into glucose doesn't take place when this conversion doesn't take place the glucose is not formed but the body is in turn is, is, is in the need of a glucose because of the race because of the hydration dehydration because of the thirsting right got it so now the glucose is really very important but he doesn't get the glucose so this results the glucose is not formed and this results in the what you call metabolic acidosis and the hypoglycemia metabolic acidosis and lactic acids keep on accumulating and results in the lactic acidosis that is a metabolic acidosis and hypoglycemia got it guys did you get me yes this is a really very important point remember this is a really really very important point okay i hope you got this point thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure this video is really very helpful for you for your clinical practice and for your usmle board examinations thank you so much for watching this video take care